Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks. And today I am here to show you a blanket that Zoe, our moderator, designed and made. She started with the Anna Starburst square and she thought I want to make a smaller square. And this is the square that she came up with. And oh my goodness, when we looked at the blanket just like that, when she had put it together, we just thought it looked exactly like the backs of stacked shipping containers. And of course, Zoe lives in Antwerp, which is a big harbour there. So we called it the Harbour Blanket. And of course, it is made up of container squares and it is a wonderful wonderful little square to make it is such fun to make and as you can see zoe used the orla keely color pack and she put it together with the continuous join method and of course i asked her could i do a tutorial and a video for it and of course she said yes so zoe gave me all the instructions that i needed to make this tutorial so I hope you will enjoy our collaboration so let's get started on the square first of all make your slip knot whichever way you normally do it insert your hook I'm using a three and a half because I always use a three and a half for Starcraft special DK which is what I'm using it is prescribed as a four but you know use the size hook that you usually use for your yarn that you are using then you are going to chain 22 so yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook yarn over pull through three four five. 21 and 22 then you're going to count back one two three four five and in the sixth one you're going to do a double crochet that means yarn over insert into that chain pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and there is your first box made and we have started our first row so the way you're going to continue is chain one skip one skip this one because this is used skip this one and go into the next one with a double crochet there we go and now we continue like this so chain one skip one double crochet in the next chain chain one skip one double crochet chain one skip one double crochet and so on and at the end of this row you should have nine boxes so let's take a look so two four six eight so indeed i have space for my last box so chain one skip one and into that last chain to do your double crochet there we go so this is our first row done now we are going to get started on our second row so one two and three chains you turn you're going to skip this chain here and on top of the first double crochet here you're going to place your first double crochet and you're going to do seven double crochets in a row so that's the first one second one around the chain space third one into the double crochet around the chain space into the double crochet and around and into and that gives us seven double crochets now we need to make a box so we're just going to do a chain skip this chain space here and then from the next double crochet here we are once again going to do seven double crochets so around and in 
around and in. There we go. We are now at the end of the row, so we are going to do a chain. And here, we are going to skip that sort of here, first chain that you see here. And then we work in the next one here. Can you see that one? So yarn over and into that chain. So try and pick up the two strands as you would have normally done. There we go. And we do our double crochet and that finishes the row. Now this row, we are going to repeat another two times. So you start with your three chains, you turn, then you do double crochets on top of the double crochet. So skipping that chain space. So seven double crochets. Then, of course, after your seven double crochets, you make sure you do a chain and skip this chain space here. And then once again, you do your seven double crochets on top of the double crochets that you did in the previous row. So I will see you when you have done your three rows. Finish it, of course, with a box. There we go. So now that I've done three rows with the seven double crochet configuration, it is time for a boxes row again. So one, two and three, turn, skip that chain space there onto the first double crochet with a double crochet. So that's our first box made. Then chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. I was going to yarn over again then. <laughs> chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. And so on. And you work your way to the end of the row. And of course, you should have nine boxes. There we go. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now, of course, we are going to be repeating these three rows again. And then you do another row of boxes. So let's get going. So three chains, turn double crochet on top of that first double crochet and we do another six more so we have our seven double crochets in a row you then do the chain and you do another seven and a box There we go. So I've done my three rows with the seven double crochet configuration. Now we are doing another row of boxes. So three chains, put your first double crochet on top of the first double crochet there. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet. In the next stitch, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next and so on so once again we should have nine boxes there we are so there we go so this is the main part of the square. Now we are going to do a round of dainty clusters around it. So I'm just going to start here where I've left off and I'm going to chain two. This is my first dainty cluster for this box here. Then I'm going to add another one into the box. There we go. And this will be finished here as well as being the corner, but we will do that at the end. 
So now we are going to be placing two double crochets in each box. The dainty clusters are two double crochets in the same stitch. So this time we are going to be placing them like this in the box. And I'm going to continue like this all along my square. And of course, I will show you what to do when you get to the corner, but it's going to be really easy because the box on the corner is going to be our location for our corner. So this is such an enjoyable and easy square to do. It's easy, amazing. <laughs> okay, so here we are. So I've put my first two double crochets into that corner box here. Then I'm going to do two chains. Then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do another two double crochets into that same square, but of course on the other side. And there we go, corner made. And then of course, we are just going to continue placing our double crochets into the boxes. I will meet you when I get back to the end of my round here and we finish this corner here. So I have made it all the way round the square. I have now met that very last corner box here. I'm going to place two double crochets in there. Then I do my two chains. And then of course here, those are the two double crochets for the other side. So two chains and then here we have the V. That's the one that I'm going to pick up to do my slip stitch. There we go. And we have completed the square. Cut off the yarn and of course you'll have to sew in the ends. Now this square is 12 centimeters by 12 centimeters. So there we go, 12 by 12, and that's just about five by five inches. So that's, that's nice and square, so that's good. And it weighs seven grams. So let me just lay out how I am going to put them together. There we go. So of course I'm only doing a sample. So we made the whole blanket and as you can see here she's used many many colors. So have a look at how you want to you know lay out your squares but you are going to have to start in the top right hand corner. So let's do that. So make your slip knot, insert your hook and take the top right hand corner of your blanket and of course the top right hand corner of your first square. In there you are going to make half a corner. So that means you're going to get started with two double crochets. Then we are going to place dainty clusters in between the clusters that we have already created. So we are going to place two double crochets in between the clusters of the previous row. When you get to the corner, you're going to do a corner of two double crochets two chains and two double crochets. Then we continue with placing our clusters in between the clusters. When you come to the corner here, you're going to do half a corner. So that means you do two 
double crochets, a chain, and that's it. Okay, so you've started by doing the top and one side. Now we are going to do the side of the next square. And this particular thing, you're going to be repeating for each square you have in that first row. Okay, so let's pick up our work again, like so. Then you take your next square and acting as if you are already crocheting on there, you just go and do a double crochet into the corner. There we go, like so. Then you take up your loop, take out your hook and go back into the last double crochet you did on your square, on your previous square. You go through that V there, you put the loop back on, pull it closed and you're going to bring it through up that stitch like that. Then you yarn over and you do your second double crochet. Again, same thing out into that V, loop round, pull it up. And then, of course, we're working along the side now. So each time you're just going to go to the next location where you're putting your double crochet, pull up, go to the corresponding V on the other side, Pull the loop through there and do your next double crochet. Got that split, there we go. Pull up, insert, round, pull through and off we go again. So you're going to have to do this each time. But of course this um, method will allow you to join your squares in one continuous go and if you're lucky and you use a new ball maybe you don't have to uh you know you you won't have any ends uh to sew in you'll just have your beginning and your end end uh, but of course um even if you have even if you run out of yarn it doesn't matter because it's only that end that you will have to sew in but this will save you a lot of ends of course because if you're just doing it for each square individually then obviously that's going to take a lot longer to sew in all those ends as well so there is a way which i'm going to try and explain to you of course now where you can get to every seam that you have to create without stopping basically without having to cut off your yarn. I have got more videos on this so do go and have a look at that because it is still a very effective and not only that, is that the right place I should be going in? Yeah, it's a lovely way of joining your squares. You're actually adding a row on each square so you're adding the width of quite a few double crochets for each row so that makes your blanket bigger and something that is appearing at the moment which i haven't shown you just yet but you're creating the most lovely seam look at that look how lovely that is i really really love this little ridge here that is just so cute. Okay, so have I done the loop through? No, not yet. Oh, there's me talking. <laughs> okay, pull that through. And it's split, of course. So you work your way all the way to the top because, of course, this is where these two squares meet up and then once you get to the top you'll be working just on the side again of this square because there's nothing there of course all right so here we are in the corner and you just keep doing what you have been doing for the corner 
there we go so two double crochets each time linking them to the adjacent stitch there we go and now we're going to do a chain just a chain and then another chain because we're doing two chains in the corner and then we are just going to be doing our clusters of two double crochets again all along this side here so this is how you are going to be joining the first row of squares so obviously i've only got two squares here but you will repeat this sequence for all the other squares in that row so i will see you when you're at the end of your first row So I'm at the end of my first row. I've attached all the squares that I need to and I've worked myself again to the base of my square here. I've done half a corner but of course now I'm going to complete the corner because I have to turn and I am now going to work my way all the way back to the first square, the corner, the base of that square, okay? And here, remember, we did a one chain. This will help us to complete the corners. So I'm now going to continue with my dainty clusters on that lower side here. So I've now made it to the corner chain space. So here I need to put in two double crochets. Then I do a chain because that's half a corner. And then of course here I've got my two double crochets and there is a chain there somewhere. So I'm just going to go in anywhere and do a slip stitch to form that corner. Then from that slip stitch I'm doing a chain and my two double crochets into that next corner chain space. There we go, see, and I've done my corners. And now, of course, you continue with your clusters along the side again. And once again, I will see you when you get to that bottom right-hand corner of that first square you attached the rest so i've made it to the corner here and i am going to do a half a corner so two double crochets and a chain then i'm going to lay it down so that i know what i'm doing right so this is my first row okay and this is my second row so now i'm going to start attaching this square here just like we did there and then of course we can continue with the other squares of that second row so take up your second square as well and you are going to do your first double crochet there and again same thing you pull up go back into that V there and you're going to pull it through And then, of course, we continue along the side each time, pulling it through. So I have made it to the corner here. I've done my two double crochets. Now I'm going to do my chain. Then I'm going to do a slip stitch into here. So you need to just find a location where you can anchor your stitches there you go I just found something in the middle there and that's fine you do a chain and then you of course are going to continue working on your side here so once again you are just placing your two double crochets 
along the side of the square. And here I have made it to the corner again where I'm going to do two double crochets, a chain, then you lay it all down again. I find that the easiest because that gives you sort of an overview of what you are doing. Of course, making sure you put your square the right way, you're then going to start doing this side here and of course pulling it through. Once again, when you get here, you attach and then you are going to have to do straight away this attaching row as well, just like you did here. So I am now going to see you when you are finished with attaching all your squares and you are at the bottom left hand corner of your blanket. So I have now made it to the left bottom corner of my blanket. So now I have to work my way along the bottom and up the side back to that right hand top corner. <laughs> oh, all very technical this. <laughs> so you just continue the way we have been, you know, with making the corner and doing your clusters. So I've nearly made it back to the beginning. Of course, I've only joined four squares, but to be honest, the concept is the same for four or for many more squares. So do as many, obviously, as you want for the size of blanket that you want to make. So here we are. I've done my two double crochets in that corner box here chain, chain and then slip stitch into those first two double crochets. There we go. And I've made a corner. And of course, now you can add as many rows as you want to make a border. And the uh, dainty cluster is perfect for this. Um, here, what I do is I put clusters here and then one cluster there because you don't want to put too many but once you've done that you should be fine to do however many rows you like. Zoe did just the one round of dainty clusters around her blanket. She used parchment to join and I think it's the perfect combination. So thank you very much Zoe for making this wonderful blanket and I hope you have all enjoyed this tutorial, this collaboration and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!